What's going on everybody? I got two real quick announcements to make and then we're gonna get into the meat of the video which is a review of this new Hobby Wing stack here. So first of all, um, I'm now part of Team Hobby Wing International, um, hopefully bringing you guys you know, more review videos, more kind of product announcements and whatnot, get you familiar with the products that Hobby Wing has to offer. Uh, and then second of all is I'm now also a part of Team Azure Power. They're going to be my new propeller sponsor. Um, I've been using these guys since probably Sebring, so a few months now. Um, and I'm really liking the way the propellers fly. They're super durable, nice and fast, great for racing and freestyle and stuff, um, especially the way I fly. So if you guys need a propeller, check out Azure Power. Um, and of course, electronics, everyone knows. Hobby Wing has some of the most reliable 4 in 1 ESCs, um, and they just updated it to be even better. So, we're gonna get into the video and we're gonna talk more about this guy right here. Alright, first I gotta apologize for the cruddy audio quality in the kitchen there. It's kinda echoey. I'm still learning how to sync the nice audio from this microphone that I'm talking to your ear holes and my camera microphone. So, let's get into it. The new ESC from Hobby Wing is a BL Heli 32-bit, 45-amp, 4-in-1 ESC. Uh, it's quite the mouthful there. But it's kind of the updated version of the known, reliable 40-amp BL Heli S 4-in-1 that Hobby Wing has been selling for some time now. It's kind of the culmination of all the features that customers and us as test pilots have been asking for in an update the the big one being that it is now 6s capable so everyone knows 6s is the new thing to do uh, especially for racing it allows us to use a higher voltage which then leads to being able to use lower kv motors allowing us to then have lower amp draw in the end so everyone knows amps current is what kills electronics. It heats up electronics, um, it causes more strain on the electronics, so the more we can lower that amperage, the better. So by going to a 6S setup, you are now using a higher voltage, and in turn, to get the same RPM and power out of your motors, you're pulling less amps. So, what did Hobbywing do? they came out with a new BL Heli 32 6S capable ESC. So it's got a bunch of features that people have been asking for. Uh, I think one of the biggest complaints I heard was the solder pads on the old 40 amp BL Heli S ESC were too small and it was hard to solder to, um, especially with larger gauge wiring and whatnot. So what Hobby Wing has done is they've widened the size ever so slightly of the new ESC and made the pads a lot larger. So this thing is definitely easier to solder to. It's got more room for activities and all that jazz. Uh, and in addition to that, they added grommets. When you have an ESC wired to your flight controller, any vibrations that your ESC is seeing is then going to be transferred into your flight controller which causes problems. So if you have both the ESC and the flight controller grommeted and vibration isolated, now you know, you're know you eliminating even more vibrations or the possibility of vibrations, and that's really what it's about. So let's move on to the flight controller side of things. Uh, it's mostly unchanged in terms of feature sets. It still has an SD card slot, it still has a built-in OSD, all that jazz. There is no more pin connecting the flight controller between the ESC like there previously was. That became a problem because in a crash, this rigid connection would break, uh, making you lose some functionality. Now we're using a wired connector, which is great. You can plug it in and unplug it, but it is, don't worry, it's still a really stiff connection. It's not gonna fall out during a crash or nothing. And just like the ESC, the flight controller is also grommeted, so to eliminate any vibration or noise that you might be getting from some beat up props or beat up motors or just 
you know, that it's quads are flying. There's vibrations. It's the way it is. Uh, and how do we eliminate them? And it's by soft mounting and isolating the flight controller as much as we possibly can. So now with this isolated flight controller, isolated ESC and a soft connection between the two, it's kind of the best of all worlds there. It's really easy to set up. It's really easy to solder and it kind of just works. Now I'm going to talk over some flight footage and whatnot uh, and just ramble a bit more. So this flight right here is post a bunch of crashes in this building. My props are real beat up and I mean it's it's still flying great. You can see there's not any crazy jello or anything. Uh, the footage looks good. It's it's pretty incredible how good vibration isolation um, as well as durable props of course. These are those Azure Power 5150s that I'm talking about. They've gone through the ringer. I've ran into the walls there. I've crashed upside down a few times on the beach and it's it's flying great still. Same set of props and everything. And that's that's what I look for in drone parts is can I bash it? Can I just thrash the gear and flip it over and keep flying? Sure, it might not be working at peak performance if my propellers are a little bent out of shape. But when I just want to fly, I want to fly. You know, I don't want to mess with breaking arms or breaking electronics or having to swap all my props constantly. I just want to plug in a battery, rip a spot, and then move on. And that's what Hobby Wing Electronics and these Azure Power propellers let me do. It lets me fly the way I want to fly, which is not being nice to my gear. It's not babying everything and cleaning everything. It's bashing the hell out of it and crossing my fingers and hoping it keeps on flying. And it lets me do that. And that's why I really think this new Hobby Wing stack is wonderful. It takes me maybe 45 minutes to build a quad. Honestly, it's assemble the frame, uh, bolt the motors on, and then I solder the motors to the ESC, and then I just hook up the ESC to the flight controller, and I'm pretty much done. Other than that, FPV is pretty much all separate, and that's all my gear on a quad. You know, it's really, really, really easy, and that's what I look for in electronics and whatnot, is does it work well? Is it reliable and durable? And is it easy for me to build and assemble new drones? Anyways, um, thanks for watching. If you know you like the video, please like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm gonna try my best to do more of these. I know I said that last time, but I've been away uh, traveling and whatnot for races and other work. So I'm back. I'm trying to do more of these videos. I'm gonna do my best to pump them out. And if you have gear that you want me to review specifically or information that you'd like, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get on it.